Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to Hawaiian Shirt Papa tour of the Hamilton Community Living Drop and Shop store located at the transfer station. Here we are, we're just going in. Uh, to the left, you have the section of clothing. To the right, we've got along the window, you've got f furniture. I thought this was a Hawaiian shirt, but it's a women's blouse. Not quite the right design or style, sorry. So along here they had some glassware that goes up by the cashier. It's actually a, not a bad idea to display it in the window. It is for some of the glassware, which will go, as they call it, sun purple. But that's a certain vintage of glass that will do that. And some other furniture with uh, some nice, nice objects placed on it. They've usually got pretty good prices here. They, um, you can drop off of this stuff instead of going into the garbage at the store. Sometimes they'll say, well, no, we can't take that kind of stuff. So they still end up going there, but you were already at the correct location. So yes, you'll find shoes. These pink ones have caught the old magpie eye. I don't remember if it was even a good price because I wouldn't know what a good price is on those. And uh, then we continue on with some shoes there and other like hardware stuff along here. They had what the Wiser box had something like a lock in it, but it wasn't a Wiser. All kinds of things along there. And behind this shelf, we get into the book binders and that and you have more hardware like electrical lampshades all kinds of stuff and you'll see this this is an interesting object I had to look it up it's an alarm clock that will wake you up with increasing amount of light you can do that with your Martin current smartphones too as well first view of the uh, a, the glass and stemware in this part I came back to this area a bit later on because there were folks here so I couldn't take a full look at it uh, we look at some various things here it's, I see there's a clock there there's onion, uh, garlic containers and like I said we'll just come back to this aisle a bit later this is the next aisle over. We're looking at sports bottles, coffee travel cups, uh, water purification jugs, items in the window along here. They start as one thing. They go into children's toys. Then we have the books. Uh, and I noticed that the books are two and three layers deep uh, so these are the children's books these are adults some more books and here you'll notice there's two layer of, at least two layers of books here as you can see makes it a bit slower to look through but hey if you got the time this is a place to come and look for books sporting goods Yes, and I don't know how a sporting good contains a wet dry vac, but hey, who am I? I'm only here to give you a tour. Good old dart boards, baseball gloves. I keep an eye on baseball gloves. We've done quite well with them in our booth over the years. 
skates and rollerblades, uh, women's clothes. This, uh, the book and what's inside here doesn't jive in my opinion. That looks more like a, a massager. Uh, and I don't see how the six minute hab thing can t has anything to do with that. CV CDs or DVDs. Beginning of the, oh, these were uh, drapes, sheets, things of that nature. The toys. And you can see an even double height of DVDs, some some newspaper uh, magazines, I should say, not newspapers. I uh, didn't take a closer look. I don't generally do ephemera. I do have some, but generally I don't. And some other household goods, lights. Looks like a printer in a box. I'm not sure if that's what's inside the box. Some decorative stuff coming up here, and this. This was quite an interesting wall decor. The black thing I thought was part of it. No, it just lifts off. So you're going to see what it looks like in a moment. There are a bunch of these discs that are mirrors with this angled metal ring around them. I think it looks fantastic. I'm not sure where to put it. It would take quite a bit of space. It's almost as good enough to be in some commercial space. Yes, here we are going into the clothing section finally. I'm trying to get my bearings. Oh, yes. Purses. Here we are. We're looking at purses first. Ah, a hat. Could be worn by either gender. Eh, don't happen to need another one. I have a few hanging around over here. I have one similar to that, not the, exactly the same. The purses looked interesting. Nothing that uh, truly caught the eye, though. And uh, here's the men's long sleeve on the left, short sleeve on the right. Didn't know that initially. Uh, here I am, I'm going along. Sometimes there's even uh, shorts or, or uh, swim trunks in the Hawaiian shirt pattern, fabric types. Aha, here's one. We make some space so we can take a good look at it. And it's actually one that's made in Hawaii. The label says um, either I'm gonna wear this myself or I got it for offer on Instagram it's not hasn't hasn't been placed there as yet but uh, if there's interest leave a message in the comments uh, I'm willing to part with it more more than likely Let's see was there anything else in here Ah, yes, there might have been a second one. And here we are. We headed off to the next thing at the end of the aisle, which has got some slightly larger, more decorative items. And then we get into the artwork. It's being kind of restocked or repositioned. I think these were ladies' jackets, men's jackets near the end. I think I was avoiding the staff member, so I'm heading off over to see if that aisle was cleared by those folks who were there earlier. It appears that they weren't. <laughs> there was uh, somebody else there this time. Small appliances. I didn't get a good look at those earlier. So you get a better look. Quite a collection. More small appliances over there. Mixers. 
juicers, blenders. I think there's some curling irons and oh, mixer, no lid. Kind of uh, difficult to use those. I usually spews out everything when you do that. Some de de countertop grills, uh, boom boxes, st stereos of some sort. Audio equipment in any case. And then we got backpacks. Quite the collection. You see some travel irons and stuff over there. And table lamps. Quite the collection of table lamps. I saw shades earlier, so if, if you're looking for one, some of those, you'll probably do well getting those here some of these lamps they got some unusually sized bases yes you can get them but you don't get them just anywhere you have to really be taking it almost need to take it into the store and that's not so useful often the the label that tells you what size base it is is missing but once you've got your first one you'll know what what to get after that Colorful. <laughs> All sorts of things. Smaller items, children's, infants, and the glassware. This is this is the view from the other side of that one. I think I looked at it from one side, not from this side. And here we go. We got ceramics along here. And we're gonna see a couple of interesting items down a bit. Chewing, purple chewing gum colored mug and saucer. Now this is a, there's two different sets of, of ceramics here. Unfortunately, they, I think they were mostly individually priced as far as the left sided ones, like these ones, they seem to be individually priced. And these ones I think might've been in a set anyway. Here's the set of those. I think I separated them out so that you could see them better. Um, being individually priced does not help. Uh, it's far better if they were sold as a set, but hey, it's their choice of pricing and my choice not to obtain. They have a jewelry counter here and they have as much as 18 karat gold in these ones. It's an interesting situation that people just hand over these things. Sometimes it's probably because there's some negative memories or something of that nature, or they just didn't know what they were handing over. So when somebody comes in and they think they have a, a jeweler come in and take a closer look at things that they, they flag. So they, they don't want to get ripped off. The, the, it's a good charity. They collect money for community living. Some of them work here as well. And the even nicer ones are back there. Here we are. This is the other, it's an L-shaped counter. Tetley tea set. Cream, sugar, four mugs and a teapot. They're a bit steeply priced. It was, if compared to true retail, they were a great price, but I wasn't willing to uh, part with my stuff for that. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video and would consider subscribing and clicking on the bell for notifications. I've got a bit of a backlog I'm working <laughs> through at the moment, so please enjoy.